just a shake of your hand, you create order out of chaos, meaning out of madness. There's nothing to switch in, nothing to switch out, and nothing to hide. The entire pack can be closely examined before and after the amazing revelation. Only the most basic sleight of hand is required because the specially designed deck does pretty much all the work for you. And best of all, if you want to immediately repeat the effect with a different selection, you can. One of the many things about Pulp Fiction that makes it so practical is that I don't have to secretly switch in the deck of cards or pretend it's some sort of ordinary deck. I take it right out, I tell people this is, a, this is a screwed up deck of cards, and I say that it wasn't until I got home from the drugstore, having bought the deck, that when I took off the plastic and opened the seal, did I realize that this deck must have got caught in some press at the factory. And from the moment I mention that to people, they're hooked. And you're gonna love the reset. Even with two selections, the reset is less than five seconds. At the very end of the routine, with a single cut of the pack, the entire deck is completely reset and ready to go again. Being able to immediately repeat an effect is huge. The cups and balls, linking rings, ambitious cards, coins across. So many of the real classics of magic involve repeating the effect. It's one of the best ways to seriously lock into people's minds the fact that what they think they saw the first time really happened. Of course, you don't have to repeat the effect. I mean, just revealing one card with a Pulp Fiction deck is already beautiful magic. But knowing, knowing that you can repeat the effect if you want it, that that second revelation is waiting for you, hidden in the pack of cards, it's a great feeling. And as a special bonus on the Pulp Fiction DVD, I don't just share with you one bonus effect, I share with you two bonus effects. First, there's my punch transmission handling. 